So, uh, Chris Cutter, um, you are Washington correspondent for The Real American Voice, and you met one of our supporters who were holding peaceful protest in front of the Capitol Hill, and they're asking for the congressional investigation into Moscow's case because the U.S. justice system has been weaponized by the CCP to go after CCP enemy number one, Mao School, and this movement who are determined to take down the Chinese Communist Party. So as a reporter, why haven't seen, why haven't seen the media coverage about the story from the big news out outlet? And why did you choose to report the story? Well, thank you so much for having me. I'd like to just really reach out and thank the generosity of Mr. Bannon and you know, the organization, the NFSC, just doing tremendous work. Now, what I see on Capitol Hill on a daily basis is a lot, to say the least. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on right now. Yeah. Americans' minds are preoccupied with what's happening in the government. Mm -hmm. So a lot of Americans out there, the general people, on a daily basis, I try to talk to everyday Americans, not a Washingtonian like myself. Yeah. I was born in Washington, D.C. I literally am from the swamp, right? <laughs> so it's pretty funny. So when you actually talk to people about this, they know a little bit. They know a little bit. They've seen this gentleman. They've heard about him. And we were just speaking backstage. Most people don't know the relationships here behind the scenes. Let's say maybe the employer of Mr. Ray before he was at the FBI. Yeah. Things like this. They don't understand that Christopher Ray was a Park Avenue white shoe lawyer. You know, these are very expensive lawyers mm -hmm. who charge, you know, like $1,000 a half an hour or something mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. He was representing all these various clients. Then yeah. he gets a job appointed in 2017 mm -hmm. to the FBI. Now, we know former President Trump was taking a lot of uh, chances with some of these people who are career politicians mm -hmm. and bureaucrats. Yeah. We seem to know now that Mr. Ray was a mistake. Other people were not, you know, fresh minds and voices like Steve Bannon who come in there and yeah. say, this is not what the general public wants. You know, we want what people out there in the yeah. regular country want, safety, stability, economic yeah. security, things like this. Yeah. People don't realize in the suburbs of Washington, a general house across the United States costs about $300,000. Yeah. Houses in around Washington, D.C., this yeah. is Arlington, Bethesda, yeah. they're five times the national average. Why is that? You know, people go to where the money is. So yeah. to answer your question, Congress isn't ready because Congress can't even tie their own shoes right now. In mm -hmm. case you haven't figured it out, we just had to raise our debt limit another, you know, mm -hmm. four trillion or even more. Mm -hmm. And now with all the spending, they're looking at what's going to China and mm -hmm. Xi Jinping. You know, he's under the spotlight. He mm -hmm. has to be very, very mm -hmm. careful right now because of. Networks like Real America's Voice, John yeah. Frederick Show, we covered this extensively. Absolutely.